The learner centric MOOC model is quite a complex model, but apart from the academic rigor that is required in order to create online content, many people are not aware that it requires multiple human resources in order to create such content. I thought we would discuss with some of my colleagues who have been part of MOOC creation uh, in the past to know roles of various teams in the MOOC creation and especially in a MOOC which has learner centric approaches applied. Like any other online course or any other course for that matter, instructors are definitely the starting point. The ideation, the plan, the design of what is to be covered and uh, in what manner it has to be covered is ideated by instructors. But at this point, I remember maybe uh, 11 you can add to this that a single instructor is not the best idea many a times, right? Yes, I would like to really add that now this course as an example and many other courses we have attended have more than one instructor and that brings a lot of expertise and uh, there's a lot of topic allocation that goes and we have specialists, different specialists giving their views, which makes the course very rich, I think. Yeah. Yes, so the so, course uh, instructors and the co-instructors actually together mm -hmm. uh, kind of make the spine of any course, right? Uh, yes, sir. In fact, there are multiple teams along with the instructors and co-instructors team who uh, you know orchestrate the whole course and as a part of that uh, TAs have to play a very important role because they uh, drive the daily orchestration schedules of a MOOC and they have to do uh, you know coordinate with multiple teams of the MOOC creation uh, whole process uh, they have to coordinate with the instructors for the final content and all they have to coordinate with the other teams uh, in order to you know go ahead with the content for the production of uh, pipeline and they have to make sure that the flow of the MOOC is uh, properly managed and the daily activities or the weekly activities are released on time and there are no issues faced by the learners on the platform and lots of other things have to be taken care of. Absolutely. I think uh, therefore you can see that some of the good courses have uh, a lot many TAs than just one teaching assistant or teaching associate. Uh, the, the next cohort that is actually responsible for the most important part of a course which is content. So there is a content design team or we can call them as content creation team. And they have multiple layers in within that because content can be kind of uh, discussed in various other aspects also. So, yeah. So I would like to say that maybe we should start with the instructional yes, design of, of the. So that forms part of it. So the blueprint of the course, and especially when you're talking about an LCMified course, we need to know where to add the LCM components. Where does the LBD go? How many LBDs do we need? Yes. Where is the LED? What is going to be an LED? Is it a video? Is it going to be a document? So is it going to be a podcast? All those decisions regarding every component and where it has to go and how many has to be placed is a part of the instructional design. Team. Absolutely. Right. Yes. That's and in fact, if uh, we consider along with these, there are lots of activities also involved on a MOOC platform. And uh, starting from the activity design to the delivery of the activity and also uh, validation of the activity for the learners and as per the content uh, TS have to you know uh, do a lot of work over here they have a lot of responsibility it's not because it's not just a simple activity on a MOOC if it's an LCM MOOC obviously these are the learning by doing activities 
which have feedback which have constructive feedback and uh, that's why uh, it's very very important to make sure that these activities are you know uh, designed in such a way that they can also act as formative assessments like the practice lbds and also Correct. for summative assessments absolutely absolutely so so these uh, the content along with the assessment uh, kind of go hand in hand and it's it's always good to have two separate teams look after that it's it's not a good idea many a times to have the same person do both because it just uh loses its kind of quality of uh, uh, rigor maybe or uh, quality of academics that you want to bring into the course but there is another team like being a designer myself i can't uh, forget the role of the third team which is the visual design team whenever you have created content you have made slides you have made uh, documents you have made uh, maybe uh, videos Uh, all these things require inputs from a visual design team which will kind of maintain a template uh, maybe a color palette uh, font style various formatting all that is designed by this team and they keep on adding small little inputs in order to make the course look cohesive and um, kind of from the single family uh, so to say so this is uh, yet another team which is typically not listed out in many of the content creation parts um, but it is equally important in my opinion in order to give the finish that a course deserves otherwise now uh, this is where the content is all kind of set like you have written your scripts you have your activities you have your designs for brilliant presentations and so on and so forth however we require a team which can actually capture all these things so it starts with the, the production team the video production team which has team members like camera persons and the editors uh, sometimes we require voice over artists like if you have seen our course we have some podcast coming up and we had even documents so we need these people to actually think about various uh, production techniques and once that is done i think then it is the entire package is ready because we know uh, what is coming where we also know how it is to be created and then there is a team which has actually created that content so that makes kind of the ground work ready and then we require something from technology so maybe jatin you can yes, comment sir. on that in fact uh, when the whole content is ready what happens is as per the platform of the mooc the production team that is basically the tas and all what they do is they have to fit this content as per the content uh, as per the mooc platform so uh, they have to upload the things onto the platform they have to administer it they have to make sure that the formats are uh, looking better they have to test it out in, in in fact to make sure that there are no issues coming up while the course is released and after uh, lots of uh, verification the course gets released the you know parts of in fact in the swayam we release course every week so every week there is some testing being done and uh, there is lots of content already uploaded there are uh, in fact if it's an lcm mooc there are lots of different types of contents that we need to upload Correct. and manage and also uh, design and uh, make sure that those are verified by the uh course team correct yeah so i think uh, jatin what you've said actually sort of closes the loop we started with the course creation and finally you have that uploading correct. onto the platform but what i want to add in and it's very very vital point is that we always need to have a team or keep a team with i mean of instruct whoever is within it to have a review of what we create absolutely so that starts from the led script so we need to check for the clarity of the script we need to check for the correctness and the accuracy of the script and looking at lbds and remembering that there are diverse learners who are taking correct. up the course then lbds have to be checked if we have used the appropriate lbds the feedback is appropriate and uh, chosen the lxts and when we talk about lxts that also means checking whether the links are working and checking for copyright issues whether we have the correct legal correct. permissions and so on 
so i think we need and there's a lot of iteration that goes in a lot of discussion that goes yes. in and that needs to be part yes, of the team correct. i think um, that adds uh, value yes, yes. Uh, here create. one of the more uh, one of the more important components of the lcm model is also lxi which uh, obviously uh, is a very challenging component because correct the focus questions that we have to design comes up you know the content for this focus questions comes up from the discussion forum and these you know these all questions and these all content this data comes when the mooc is running so it's very very challenging to design this uh, you know focus questions for a particular lxi make sure that people learn from it also okay. if it's a forum uh we have to make sure that you know those uh, uh, the links that we generate or the threads that we want the people to read those threads are reachable by them and uh, we have to continuously monitor those threads so that you know uh, uh, th- uh, there is no tampering with the uh, threads or tampering with the posts happening on the forum so in that way lxi is a very challenging part because it has to be dynamically managed dynamically created while the mooc is released correct so in this actually uh, many people ask me this question like why so many people are required like i already have a list of uh, let's say some seven teams that are required now when we have such a high requirement it's not possible to have such team at hand because you don't get trained manpower for mooc creation every now and then so the process that we have followed in lcm model is to recruit the toppers of the previous offering now uh, you know, for example the participating members of this panel discussion elevenil as well as jatin have been part of the course as learners so they were participants of this course then they uh, kind of uh, completed the course with flying colors they were toppers and then they were recruited maybe invited and uh, recruited as a pa or a discussion for a moderator or a, and then slowly they graduated to the next levels of being teaching associate or a reviewer of uh, scripts and suggesting where should be the reflection spot and so on and so forth to the level that they themselves have created some moocs or online courses for their own purposes and their own topics so this is actually a secret recipe probably that i can share with all of you those who keep on asking me like how do you get so much of a team uh, with you when you are creating such a course and the reason is that uh, orchestration of a mooc is totally dependent on the platform that we are uh, catering to so uh, it's a it's a important lesson that i have learned that having um, created courses for edx or swayam or iit bombay x or even iim bangalore x i have realized that the the platform dependency is extremely important and uh, therefore orchestration dynamics are totally platform dependent and we have to take decisions based on the the requirement of the platform and the learners who have enrolled at that time so putting all this together we just thought that we'll run you through kind of a introductory um, kind of uh, a video uh, where we will at least introduce the teams which are participating in creation of a mooc of this scale uh, you can visit our web page of the course where we have given a dedicated link for the the members who are participating in the mooc and my suggestion is that please go through that they have excellent profile they are proficient teachers in their own respect but they are contributing this mooc in various various aspects right from designing the slides to reviewing the content to writing a focus question or to uh, finding out a lxt so on and so forth so uh, we thought this could be a good curtain raiser about what happens behind the scenes of a mooc so thank you for watching and thank you jatin and elevenil for joining me